ha- have you seen that TikTok that's like it has the full house theme playing, but instead of showing an actual cast of characters, it's just all one person? Business development. Grants! The shipping department. You know, that's how it feels to be an artist sometimes. And you know, I recognize I didn't even say any of the fun art stuff. I said a whole bunch of boring art business stuff. (laughs) Hi, I'm Mickey, and I've been a working artist all my life, and now I help other artists monetize and promote their art. And you know, I am not perfect. I am not perfect at getting things done, but there is one little thing that helps me and other artists do more, and we're gonna talk about that today. I make videos all the time to help artists, so be sure to subscribe to this channel for more info. It's really challenging as an artist, as a team of one, you're doing all the shipping. You're like sitting there printing addresses on envelopes and you're like, I wish I was drawing right now. You're trying to think of the perfect email to send to this person so that they'll work with you on this really awesome project or accept your application to that cool event that you were hoping to help with. And it's so much and it can feel so incredibly overwhelming. The problem with this problem is that it can feel like you're always playing catch up, like you can never get ahead. And it can also feel like you're having to just like recreate the wheel every single time you start a new project or every time you pick up an old project. But here's the thing, business folks have this problem figured out. They're just not sharing it with anyone. And that's because business folks are using project management. According to Wikipedia, (laughs) Wikipedia will tell you that project management is the process of leading the work of a team, you're the team, that's you, to achieve goals and meet success and criteria at a specified time. But really all that means is that like project management is just like you breaking things down to make it easier for you to do your work. That's it. A lot of times this means that you really wanna like break down your projects that are big into simpler, easier tasks with shorter deadlines that are easier to achieve. Um, I compare it to like when you're in school and you have to write a 15 page paper. Now, a lot of times you might just sit down and try to write 15 pages in one sitting and that doesn't go well, right? Like that's very, very stressful. Versus if you tell yourself, I'm gonna write page one tonight, tomorrow I'll write page two. It's a lot less stressful in that environment. And that's exactly what that is. That is project management. You're taking a task, you're breaking it down and you're giving yourself deadlines along the way. There are some people whose entire job is project management. They're just project managers and that's like all they do every single day is they're just like, we're gonna break this down into smaller pieces. And there are also lots of different methodologies and opinions about project management. And that's not only because some things just will straight up make things easier, but it's also because obviously we are all different people and some things will just work better for one person and another person will try that and they'll be like, that that doesn't work for me. I'm a different person. This way works better for me. And all of this is why I'm partnering with my friends at Triangle Artworks to present a series of videos over the next several weeks specifically about project management for artists and for our administrators. We're going to look at everything from different types of project management methodologies to talking about recording our processes. What even is a process? You're going to learn. We're going to talk about it so much. And that's what we're going to do over this video series. I'm just really going to walk you through everything that I can about project management so that hopefully the next time you start a project, you're not starting from scratch and you have a lot more resources and tools in your little artist toolbox that you can use to have a better time, to have an easier time. All that to say, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video. And I'll also post a link in the description with more info about how you can stay in the know. Thanks so much for joining me for this brief intro of this series and about what project management is and why you need to know about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.